Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, please, I want you to pay attention very carefully. Um, the Lord put it in my heart this week and next week. We're going to have a revision series from tonight into next week um, before we get into the next series that we have. There is a lot to cover and um, we'll try to catch up, especially because of my absence in the last few weeks so there is a lot we really are behind schedule but the lord has put it in my heart um so we're going to deal with very serious matters and the lord wants to bring to our minds and our understanding these truths and these keys again sincerely from the depth of my heart i want you to excel i want you to live very fulfilled lives we have a mandate not to a congregation but to a generation and we continue to press trust in God to grant the grace to make this true it is my desire as a man of God and as a leader to see people excel all wise and in accordance to the prophetic word um, this year I really have been pressing to show us the ways of the spirit that have been allocated for the various results that we desire I only pray that by now we would have grown to a level in the spirit where we place value on these truths you see the thing about truth the Bible says you can do nothing against the truth but for the truth and then the Bible speaking about wisdom says that those who seek me early there is timing to impact there is timing to acquisition of wisdom every time is not convenient there is a time lapse that when you allow to pass without your pressing into certain dimensions of the wisdom of God, you will pay for it. It will not come easy. It will come at a very serious cost. Praise the Lord. Second Peter chapter 1 and verse 12. Shibaka Subrakata. Second Peter chapter 1 and verse 12 let's read it together one to read wherefore i will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things though ye know them and be established in the present truth the apostle is speaking now he's saying part of my apostolic assignment is that every once and again I, as a system of mentorship, remind you of the truths that you probably may have known. Some may be on their way understanding it. Some would have held it to a measure. But he said, I will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things. It was Dr. Mike Murdoch that said, repetition is what creates persuasion. That means the more a thought and a truthful information is repeated eventually your mind will embrace it as true and your life will show the results are we together so um, I will title this keys of the kingdom the keys of the kingdom you can put in bracket revision series the keys of the kingdom it's a revision series this is part one next week we'll look at part two the goal is to bring to our understanding. It's like a refresher course. Praise the Lord. This week and next week, by the grace of God, I'm going to be dealing with the matters of the kingdom, the factors, the laws of the spirit, the truths that we have so labored through the years to teach and continue to teach that are responsible for power, for grace, for relevance for a life of meaning impact and so on and so forth 
Are we together? The keys of the kingdom. A revision series. Matthew chapter 16 and verse 19. Lord, we receive understanding. Matthew 16 and verse 19. Read with me. It's projected. Everyone inside and outside. One, two, go. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Uh-huh. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Let's look at Amplified. The King James Version here does not do the kind of justice that we seek. Um, it doesn't give you the kind of expression that, that will help you understand. Let's read it now and then I begin to teach. One, two, read. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Uh-huh. And whatsoever you bind, declare to be improper and unlawful on earth, must be what is already bound in heaven. And whatsoever you lose, declare lawful on earth, must be what is already loosed in heaven. Thank you, Father, for understanding. Let us grow. Let us rise. In the name of Jesus, let us become living wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus is speaking here and he's making a very interesting statement. Please pay attention. Remember, I told us that Jesus raised disciples who would later become apostles through a system of discipleship that we call mentorship. And the way he started, very interesting, from Matthew chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, when he was done with his temptation, he departed in the power of the Spirit. Right from Matthew chapter 5, until he resurrected every day was a bible study session every day was a prayer session every day was a mentorship session they were exact spiritual truth that he was teaching them he was teaching them on the kingdom reorganizing their understanding about various aspects of the kingdom life he brought many prophecies to lamb light and began to shed light on them he brought many perspectives, misrepresentations about the God of the Hebrews that they had known and began to correct them. Then he used parables, parables to explain what he called the mysteries of the kingdom. Are we together? And so when we get to the 16th chapter of Matthew, he's now talking about the keys. Now, theologically speaking, there is only one key to the kingdom. Everybody say to the kingdom. There is only one key to the kingdom and that key happens to be the door himself jesus said it this way he said i am the way i am the truth i am the life no man cometh to the father except by or through me so we know that there is only one key to the kingdom there are not many ways almost all of the founders of different religions around the world out of the three to five thousand religions we have currently and growing in the world all of the founders propose to be the keys of the kingdom that means they are the access point to enter into a certain dimension of life civilization consciousness or reality are we together we have several religions across the world with different founders purporting different facets of the revelation of god but Jesus came and made a bold statement that he was and still remains the only authorized access. So there is only one key to the kingdom. The Bible declares that there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. Do you know why I'm teaching you this? Look up, please. Look up. The time has come in the church where we must be biblically sound we must be theologically sound the context of our spiritual communication must be balanced must be intelligent must be theologically sound you must be able to make full proof of your ministry defending the faith by understanding what you believe not just believing blindly are we together the days that we live in would require conviction conviction that comes not only through encounters but through understanding 
so i'm taking out time to teach you this because many believers are not mentored to understand god the average believer understands different aspects of power glory here and there but the sequential growth this kingdom has an explanation you need to know the way the kingdom was built and how it operates are we together yes so this looks like very basic but it's amazing the level of failure you will command not knowing this there is only one key to the kingdom there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved are we together the bible says in romans chapter 10 reading from verse 8 to 10 it says that um the word is nigh thee in thy heart and in thy mouth even the word of faith that we preach it says that if thou shalt confess with thy heart the lord jesus thy mouth the lord jesus and believe in your heart that god raised him from the dead it says you shall be saved are we together yes then it says for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and then with the mouth confession is made that leads to salvation so this is the technology that god employed so when you follow that door who is christ the bible calls him the new and the living way he becomes the only access point if you have not passed through that door you are not saved are we together it doesn't matter how you are around church you are not saved nicodemus came to jesus by night and said rabbi john 3 thou art a man we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man can do these things except god be with him then in verse 3 jesus is teaching now and he says verily verily i say unto you except a man be born again he's talking about being born again now he shall not see the kingdom of god are we together and then except a man be born of water verse 5 now and the spirit he shall not enter the kingdom so we know there is one key and only key to the kingdom but there when you get into the kingdom there are the keys of the kingdom not a key the the basis for access that help us to function in this kingdom there are many the laws of the kingdom the methodologies of the kingdom you need access to just one key jesus the son of the living god the new and living way but when you come into the kingdom listen carefully you need to know that there are keys of the kingdom say keys of the kingdom and the sequence is this watch this a believers come you stand here face me please my friend please come stand here face me no you stand here are we together my dear come now watch this they represent different levels this gentleman for instance is the one the bible calls a natural man everybody say natural man that means one who is alienated from the life of god he is not yet a partaker of the life of god through the new birth experience that we call salvation is someone learning you have to understand what i'm teaching you the first ministry that this man needs is not a preacher's ministry the first ministry that this man needs is the ministry that the bible calls the goodness of god listen very carefully the bible says it is the goodness of god that leads men to repentance so there is a dimension of the encounter with the goodness of god that this man needs to have and that dimension is sponsored by the Holy Spirit so the Holy Spirit is the one who can make this man even have the need see the need for Jesus in his life John 16 Jesus still in his mentorship session began to introduce the disciples to the ministry of the Holy Spirit Jesus started by saying I have many things to tell you but ye cannot bear them now he says how be it listen carefully that when he the spirit of truth is come 
he shall guide you into all truth are we together he shall take of what is mine and shall give to you then the bible says that the holy spirit has a threefold ministry to the world the world of natural men he says he will convict you of three things number one of sin say sin number two of righteousness say righteousness number three of judgment are we together so it is the ministry of the holy spirit to bring this man to a point now he will need the cooperation of a preacher because the bible says how shall they hear except they be a preacher are we together are you understanding the methodology of the kingdom except they be a preacher so god depends on men to allow the ministry of the holy spirit to find expression now this gentleman is sitting in koinonia or any meeting and he hears the word of the lord coming and listen it is not any preaching that saves understand this it is not any preaching that saves there is an exact spiritual information that leads to the salvation new birth now all truth in the bible have a measure of light and liberty that they bring listen to me but there is an exact message that turns a sinner to become a righteous person are, are you following now this is a refresher course we are dealing with the things that many believers do not know that continues to make their life and their assignment within their environment ineffective now it is true that i can teach any message and raise an altar call but that even if it is in one minute there has to be a way of routing that altar call such that the content are located to be captured for salvation is represented there are we together the gospel that saves is called the gospel of salvation everybody shout say the gospel of salvation now there are many gospels in the bible by many gospels we don't mean erroneous gospels the word gospel just means an announcement of glad tidings it doesn't have anything necessarily to do with jesus as it were it's just a proclamation of glad tidings the word gospel means good news are we together a proclamation of an information that gladdens the heart that's what is called gospel so there is the gospel of salvation and the gospel of salvation is a message everybody say a message the gospel of salvation is the revelation listen carefully the gospel of salvation is the revelation of the father's love a revelation of the father's love are we together manifested in and through the substitutionary sacrifice of jesus christ and the object of that sacrifice is man first and then creation the death of jesus does not only affect men it affects creation are we together so the revelation of the father's love revealed in and through the substitutionary sacrifice of the son jesus to man first and then creation and then man's response everybody say response man's response to that gospel who had believed our report to that man the arm of the lord had been revealed are we together yes so when i hear the gospel what is the gospel for god so loved the world that he gave he proved his love for man by allowing jesus his son to come to the earth now watch this the assignment of jesus on earth was not to die death was simply a gateway to help him fulfill that assignment are we together jesus came to earth to fulfill a threefold assignment number one jesus came as a representation the image of the invisible god until jesus came they did not know god so they would they would accredit or credit both the things that were done by the devil fallen angels and god to the god of the hebrews until jesus came there was no bodily representation of the god of the heavens so jesus came as the image of the Christ made manifest are we together the Bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory even as the glory of the father full of grace 
and truth and the bible calls him the image of the invisible god the invisible god that hitherto we only heard about and a few people had certain encounters of different dimensions of him that god is now personified in the christ so you can look at jesus to know who god is jesus came as the will the thoughts of god the word word of god is the word logos the thoughts the intent of a man seeking out for expression are we following tonight this is basic salvation that is not basic at all it is the strengthener of your christian faith you have to know how you came into this life so jesus came to reveal to men the image of the invisible god as a commitment and a desire to help men know god number two jesus came as an agent of reconciliation the bible calls him the mediator of the new covenant what does that mean the bridge like two aggrieved parties the word mediator is a legal term it's a system of reconciliation that means two aggrieved parties or at least an aggrieved party that has broken relationship and fellowship so jesus came as the bridge but in order to fulfill that ministry as savior and mediator he needed to pass through the legal system of the spirit and there are ordinances that have been in the realm of the spirit that he had to subscribe to ordinance number one the soul that seen it it shall die it's a law that any soul that sins the penalty is death are we together yes ordinance number two without the shedding of blood i'm doing a quick review so that we'll just pass this area without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sins no atonement no remission are we together so jesus needed to satisfy that legal term number three that except a corn of wheat falls to the ground and dies it abides alone so only death leads to resurrection anything that is alive in itself cannot resurrect it will have to die and then resurrect with another life are we together now so jesus being the mediator watch this number one he came as a manifestation of the image of the invisible god number two he came as the mediator of the new covenant to fulfill that ministry of reconciliation drawing men connecting men to god and he needed to route it through abraham and by so doing fulfill the legal claims of justice the third reason why jesus came was to perform his high priestly ministry you have to understand this that he is a priest after the order of melchizedek that even in resurrection he had to take his blood the blood of the eternal sacrifice and he went before the tabernacle in heaven that was adumbrated by that that was on earth and he poured his blood upon that tabernacle so that once and for all salvation became real to men are we together yes so the gospel of salvation is a revelation of the love of the father demonstrated through the substitutionary sacrifice of jesus to the end that when you hear that gospel and believe that it is true that jesus has satisfied the legal claims of justice that now standing before the throne you stand guiltless with the righteousness that is equal to that of the christ are we together not like that of the christ when you receive that report the bible says immediately two things happen to you number one the first thing that happens to you when you declare jesus as savior and lord is that there is a translation spiritually speaking from the domain the kingdom of darkness that means a domain that is under the legal authorization of satan into the kingdom of his dear son now follow me very carefully are we together and then the bible says that when there is that translation the second thing that happens and all these things happen concurrently is that by believing 
it is credited to you for righteousness like faithful abraham i hope you know the first person to hear the gospel was abraham our father the gospel was preached to abraham in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed abraham believed god and it was credited to him and that formula of abraham is what was given to the saints to hear the report of the lord and to believe by faith then it is credited to us as righteousness people like kenyon define righteousness as the ability to stand in the father's presence without a sense of guilt without a sense of condemnation and without a sense of inferiority this is what he calls righteousness i will want to add that more than that righteousness is the manifestation of the nature of the christ in a man it's more than just an act the manifestation of the nature of christ in a man is called righteousness righteousness is first who you are by reason of your believing the report of the lord now number three we are given the holy spirit according to galatians chapter 3 christ has redeemed us from the cause of the lord the bible says being made a cause for us for it is written in the law of moses that cost is every man that hangs upon the tree why that the blessing of abraham might come upon the gentiles what is the blessing of abraham i've taught it here justification by faith the blessing of abraham is not a pronouncement no there are blessings of abraham there is the blessing and there is the blessing of abraham three of them are not the same the blessing of abraham is the justification that comes by faith the blessings of abraham are the speakings that came upon abraham as an inheritance by god that we can route through the promise the blessing is the holy spirit are we together so the bible says that the blessing of abraham justification by faith might come upon the gentiles to give us now access to receive the promise of the spirit by faith so we receive the holy spirit the holy spirit is the representation of the life of god he is the one we call zoe now listen very carefully the word eternal life is not something the holy spirit brings it is his presence in us the holy spirit does not bring eternal life the holy spirit is the life of god he is what we call zoe he's what we call the blessing are we together now watch this this man let me come back to our, our terms now as we used this man has been convicted of the holy spirit and a preacher makes what we know to be an altar call this gentleman comes out receives the life of god acknowledges christ as his savior and lord and according to the authority of scripture the bible says this man is saved because he believed in his heart unto righteousness and he confessed with his mouth the lordship of christ step one everybody says step one this is not the end of the journey he has now entered into the kingdom he has had one key the key to the kingdom jesus christ now that he's in the kingdom watch this this man can remain unfruitful forever right now in the kingdom he's no longer a natural man but he's also not a spiritual man the bible calls them carnal men the word carnal means sensual they have not grown to the level now where their impulses are aligned to the word and the spirit he's not a natural man but he's not yet a spiritual man in experience are we together now many believers can remain at this level forever and be in church for 10 years and in honor to your longevity in church you can be called a deacon from a deacon you move to a pastor and then to whatever now humanly speaking you are making advancement but spiritually speaking you are still here are we together now watch this it is for this man that ephesians chapter 4 from verse 10 to 12 was given that he gave unto some apostles listen now the fourfold or fivefold as we call it is about to be introduced now he gave unto some apostles and prophets and evangelists and pastors and teachers why 
to do the work of the ministry i mean for the perfecting or the equipping the maturing it is called of the saints so that this man now matured will do the work of the ministry are we together so the holy spirit is the next person to be introduced to this man because the word of god without the ministry of the holy spirit will turn this man to a religious man he will receive the knowledge that puffs up ever learning but never coming to the knowledge of the truth the bible says for from such depart are you following me tonight so this gentleman gets born again the the sequence of spiritual growth is that for his health look up please for this man's health and his speed in growth it is important to be planted within a community of believers because being planted within the community of believers now will afford him the opportunity to be discipled an interesting word i'm introducing now say discipleship please shout it say discipleship it's a word that has been abused by religious um religious perceptions most of what we call discipleship in the body of christ is conformity to the doctrines and the patterns of a denomination but god's idea of discipleship is not conformity just to the patterns and the doctrines of a denomination or conformity to the central thought agreed upon by a body of religious people that's what most times we call discipleship is the reason why after many years of mentorship the people don't look like christ they look like the error are you getting what i'm saying now yes the bible says looking up to jesus the author and the finisher of our faith he started it he should end it so this gentleman is planted in a ministry like koinonia are we together now he has an assignment his assignment is to remain open and to know that now he must grow that growth is a possibility in the kingdom luke chapter 2 and verse 52 and jesus increased in wisdom in stature in favor with god and with men this guy is saved but he needs to grow if he does not grow then galatians chapter 4 becomes his tragedy are we together he says this i say then an heir for as long as he's a child differeth not from a slave although he be lord of all but that he's under tutors and governors until the time appointed so an heir provided he remains a child bankrupt of the knowledge that provides growth that he does not differ from a slave this gentleman's next part of call is to grow everybody say growth the growth is threefold number one the first dimension of growth for this gentleman is to be brought to a point where the foundational pillars the foundational pillars of the christian faith are taught him i'm showing you how this person will become a powerful man tomorrow the foundational pillars the bible begins to tell us in in hebrews chapter 6 that leaving these basic doctrines let us move further to more superior things paraphrasing and he said the doctrine of baptism and of this and of that and of that there are basic foundational pillars of the christian faith please look up if this guy receives the best of mentorship he should be introduced number one to the value of the word of god in the life of the believer this is key it's not something he should learn later he should learn that in this kingdom the boundaries of god's commitment to us is scripture he must learn that the primary way of knowing god is scripture all scripture were inspired by the holy ghost profitable for reproof for doctrine for correction that the man of god may be mature fruitful in every good work are we together so this man must be brought to a point where he understands the value of the word of god number two this man must be brought to a point where he understands the foundational value of the priesthood ministry of the believer 
the priesthood ministry is not something he should learn when he's ordained into ministry by priesthood he should be able to understand the power of prayer as a system that transforms you and as a system that helps you to legislate in this kingdom when this man is not taught prayer early it will affect him are you seeing the sequence of growth number three this man must be taught the value of corporate fellowship and community life as a system for preserving kingdom values i was glad when they said unto me let us go into the house of the lord behold how good and pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity are we together it is like the oil that comes upon the head of aaron down to his bed to his skirt his garment he said there the lord had commanded the blessing this man must be introduced to the foundation of corporate fellowship number four this man must be introduced to an understanding of his identity in christ it matters for this man to know who he has now become in christ the bible says in galatians chapter 3 and verse 29 it says and if ye be christ's then are ye abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise there are many things that the bible calls the believer for instance it says behold what manner of love the father had bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of god is a name he must know number two the bible tells us that we have been raised up together with christ are we together he must understand that fact number three he must know now that he has become a partaker of the spirit whereby we cry abba father that this man has access to god according to hebrews he says let us therefore come boldly before the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and help in time of need this man must know he has access to the wisdom of the spirit now he has access to fellowship he should understand this as a foundational pillar of his spiritual growth he must see the necessity of the fivefold ministry in his life as gifts given to the body to help mature him the next thing is this man must understand that he has a purpose and a destiny in christ it's a foundational understanding it's not something he should have when he graduates from school or gets married no the bible talks about believers being predestined according to his eternal counsel he must know that he was born for a reason are we together when this gentleman you are, this guy is stooping down to respect me his back will pain him oh stand, stand straight eh? he respects me and he's leaning like this god bless you for your honor that's how the world will bow before you eh? now watch this but, but you can you can stand you have you have tried let's 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 be fair on the gentleman praise the lord now do you know that when this guy now understands these things they are very strong pillars now he can begin to move to the deeper matters of the kingdom are we together what we call the mysteries of the kingdom he will now begin to understand the methodologies the ways of god he now begins to understand the keys of the kingdom he now begins to understand the mysteries that connect to the results that he desires already remember that the foundation of his life is god remember that he knows who he is in christ because this man is about to go through challenges somewhere in his life and if he's not told who he is in christ and the value and the power of prayer and he does not have a system of mentorship that will tell him he's all right this guy will be discouraged soon when you get born again there's usually a bonus for you whether you pray or not things just work you are jumping is to motivate you 
are we together and you look at believers laboring and you are like ah, ah you mean this thing is this simple it's an encouragement so that whatever comes your way you will know your life is in his hands yes do you know that this gentleman having completed this realm will now move to the next realm where he's mentored on the ways of god now i begin to teach this guy on the principles of the kingdom here is where we begin to show him mysteries in the kingdom that there is a mystery that connects longevity there is a mystery that connects exemption how favor works how giving works how the relationship with the holy spirit is built how the anointing grows the necessity for this this guy continues to learn and learn them again while he grows now this content is graduating this guy from a carnal man to become a spiritual man with proper mentorship he will get to a point where he becomes strong and mature his convictions are strong he's not only believing because a pastor said a prophet said an apostle said he has come into an a, a conviction about god watch this when he gets to this level the next assignment is for him to now be taught the principles that make him a battle axe thou art my battle axe and my weapon of war that you are not only in the spirit to grow alone are we together now that is time for you to mature and now become useful this is where you need to now understand the principles of kingdom advance what it means to become an ambassador what it means to be mightily used by god it is at this point this man begins to learn the laws of influence this man begins to understand the deeper dynamics of the power of the holy spirit you see this is how he started as a naive confused christian not knowing his left from his right and with a few months and a few years of proper discipleship look what he has become a mighty battle axe now look at this why are many believers in church for many years the average church has two to three services per week and after many years the believer is still here fighting for appointment fighting for deaconry fighting for eldership fighting for this and that and that and that and that and sometimes the pressure and politics of ministry will make the person to be ordained here as a pastor are we together now a baby about to lead babies he does not know anything about the things of god members say we don't like you and he says i'm not doing ministry again why because he's a baby he's broke and he fetches from church offering and says i will return it later he's a baby he has not seen the value and the excellence of service this guy is persecuted and he says god why me these are the languages of babes he says strong meter for them who are of full age who by reason of use have learned to exercise their senses unto godliness if i turn to god today and say why me is is an embarrassment um is 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 an embarrassment to his investment in my life not at this level the difference between this man and this woman is that at this level you should have gained mastery the things of the kingdom you should not be learning how to walk at this level when you see someone who is you don't put babies on wheelchair but if an adult cannot walk you put him on wheelchair nobody puts a baby on wheelchair and say i said you should walk and you are not walking nobody prays for a baby for a miracle and say rise up and walk it is it is allowed in that realm but when you become an adult and you cannot walk it's an attack listen there are, when people say they are matured as believers ask them what makes you think you are mature say i'm not a baby christian at all i'm not why what makes you believe 
say i've suffered in this life no that's not the reason why you are you are a mature christian not at all it is true that the furnace don't get me wrong please understand this it is true that the furnace of affliction can refine but suffering is not the reason why you are a mature christian you may be suffering as a result of ignorant attack that you don't have the knowledge for this person should be able to help this person in a heartbeat this person should be equipped with such spiritual knowledge listen if i come and say pastor i'm in trouble like an encyclopedia should just open which mystery is allocated to solve this man's problem this is the justification for being spiritual when you talk to this person and say um you know the way life is you are supposed to be here not here this person should have at this point had a covenant with god or be connected to strong covenants that even where his or her personal faith fails there should still be a way of routing results otherwise who brought you here who qualified you here are you seeing that a lot of baby christians continue to say they are much at this realm people can start falling in your meetings you don't need to get here right here in fact before you understand one impartation and you will use falling down and say watch Benihin is throwing people me too I'm throwing people we are the same whoever told you please understand what I'm teaching you this is a refresher series that many believers do not understand so the Bible says I will give you pastors after my heart men of God hear me you have an assignment to build people sequentially you must know what they are to become not hope that you are doing the right thing like an architect when an architect is building he does not sit down hoping that I hope the building is coming well he has the master plan already he's only hoping that you get to a point where you are able to understand at this level there is something you can tell God that will make God act in a certain way to this man that he does not yet have it is one Lord reach unto all but my brothers and my sisters something you have done a process of growth has brought you to this point there is a level of relationship and intimacy you have with God you cannot fear their fears no you cannot if me and this guy pray he's going to be frustrated we can pray a general church prayer but if he comes to the secret place to pray with me this guy is going to be tired he's going to pray from his realm and he will hear me talk to God in a way that does not make sense it may not even sound scriptural but it is there is a level I will call God names he has not had anywhere it's a name that my experience gave God He can come to the secret place and see me sitting quietly on the ground like a herbalist and say sir let's pray I said that's what I'm doing and he said I I thought prayer is just when you are talking and rolling and I say yes just do what you are taught you are correct only you can satisfy me only you can satisfy my soul satisfy my soul only you can satisfy me only you can satisfy my soul satisfy my soul only you can satisfy me only you can satisfy my soul you satisfy my soul sing it one more time yeah. only you can satisfy me only you can satisfy my soul satisfy my soul now listen don't worry you can stand back this is already a refresher course many of us are born again but I tell you why our lives are unfruitful. I can watch you pray for one hour 
and tell you at least 10 things you have done wrong as serious as you are praying i will tell you the parts that will be answered and the part that will not be answered i will tell you what was unnecessary in the content of your prayer now at this point god will not show you because the goal is not the accuracy of your prayer but the zeal of your prayer so he will allow the error just pass there's no need for accuracy he's cultivating zeal you can pray and make mistakes the goal is that you become prayerful the realm of accuracy is waiting for you in the future so you will find out that you are praying a lot of nonsense but the more you pray the more god is backing it the idea it is easier to edit your prayer life when you have received the spirit of prayer and supplication when you are corrected here you will be discouraged when you get here you will find out that many things you prayed for were already answered in your growth you were never supposed to pray for them growth already answered that prayer request only you can satisfy me only you can satisfy my soul satisfy my soul please sit down sit down there are many people parading themselves as matured christians you say why you say i've been born again for 10 years what does that mean what does that mean it is true that longevity if well utilized that's time and if you invested in it spiritually the bible says that he that sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap life everlasting but he that sows to the flesh will reap corruption you can sow to the flesh for many years it does not mean you reap life are we together this thing I told you is the basic foundation of any believer's Christian life. If you do not know this, you will leave God eventually. Something about the absence. Now imagine that, where, where are you? Come. Imagine that this guy just got born again. And the next thing he's hearing is a teaching on influence or a teaching on prosperity. This guy is going to fail woefully. Do you know why? because it is dangerous to be taught prosperity as a carnal man the flesh will not allow the purity of that message to bless you the message will fall on lust that is already there and it will make this guy a dangerously materialistic person so there is a sequence of growth not every topic is relevant to every believer imagine that this guy gets born again and his first message is love and, and life partner and relationship do you know what is going to happen to this guy he's already dead even before the series on relationship is over because i can tell you this guy's prayer life is not going anywhere this guy's life is not going anywhere the awareness that there is a beautiful lady to see and marry would not you think he will pray the way you are praying that you are praying like a madman not when you are aware lady is looking at you no how what if I, I i miss the moment and the flesh is there deceiving you and you are failing programming woeful failure but if this guy is taught that the beginning of his life is god he can be praying like a madman any lady that does not like that demonstration does not like a profitable destiny yes sir There are people today who cannot pray in tongues because they were taught something before tongues and what they were taught corrupted their passion that reckless abandonment let me tell you those days when we started ministry here you would see the ladies including hot cc ladies when it's time to pray they will roll under the anointing from one point to the other they will stand up with the whole the whole paraphernalia rumpled to pieces. It matters how we are taught. It matters who, who defines your spiritual value. Who cultivates your hunger and your appetite for the things of God. The keys of the kingdom. 
now i said that because it was important to lay this foundation but in this refresher series my, my goal is really not to touch on these basics now i want to refresh and show us again and i'm praying in the name of jesus christ remember it's this week and next week i'm praying that what you did not see before may you see it now how do i know i have caught light the results the results show that the light has come if the results cannot show with time then the light never came how do i know how can i trust the content of the information i have one of the greatest um concerns and prayer in my life is not to believe a lie that i should not believe something i hold true and find out after many years that i've been wasting my time believing in a lie the bible says to be careful lest what you call light be darkness there are things people have believed about prosperity that is punishing them today because the content was wrong there are things people believe about church and ministry and ministry growth today that is making them languish in failure in spite of the fact that they are anointed there is a, an exact body of knowledge allocated for the truths that you desire and i'm going to run through them this week and next week can you lay hands on your head and command that in the name of jesus your understanding is fruitful lift your voice and pray please pray speak to my mind be open hallelujah now matthew chapter 16 and verse 19 let's go back please and let's deal with these issues now sincerely is my prayer in the name of jesus christ that we'll hold these keys and we will rise in a way and manner the mysteries of the kingdom demystify life they bring you to a point where you see that life is not as complicated as it looks and i will give you the keys of the kingdom say i receive it and whatsoever you bind the word bind there should not confuse you declare to be improper a particular version says disallow and then it talks about allowing now watch this notice the sequence according to amplify that it is what has been bound in heaven you replicate it in the earth and what has been allowed in heaven you replicate it so the keys are keys that allow you to replicate heaven remember the sequence is that it be done in the earth as it is in heaven it is not going to be done in heaven as it is done in the earth so realities are first finished in the heavenlies and then they are replicated in the earth the keys of the kingdom still amplified psalm 82 let's start from verse 5 still amplified very powerful rendition it says they know not amplified amplified keep amplified there please it says the magistrate and the judges know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness of complacent satisfaction and all the foundations of the earth the fundamental principles upon which rest the administration of justice are shaking six I said you are God since you judge on my behalf as my representatives indeed all of you are children of the most high verse 7 let's shout it together one to go but you shall die as men and fall as one of the princes so the keys of the kingdom are also the keys of knowledge the keys of the kingdom are also the keys of knowledge specific knowledge that gives us enlightenment and authority access 
to spiritual truth access to information illumination these are the keys that make for dominion so the bible says there are things that have been permitted to walk in the heavenlies and there are things that are not permitted to walk in the heavenlies when you obtain the keys of the kingdom in terms of spiritual knowledge and information they are the keys that activate and deactivate possibilities in the earth realm these are the keys of the kingdom of heaven please understand i'm teaching now they are the keys that activate there are possibilities but they must be activated through knowledge and there are possibilities that can be deactivated for instance premature death is a possibility it can be deactivated like you detonate a bomb are we together long life is a possibility but it's activated delay is a possibility activated speed is a possibility activated mediocrity these are all possibilities in the earth realm and so he says i give you keys that means i give you access to i i will bring a file and run through all the possibilities available to mankind choose the ones to activate and set them ablaze in your life and deactivate all the ones you will find some already activated the average believer when he comes into christ when you are born either by territory or culture or ordinances there are possibilities already activated for you they were activated through covenants they were activated through yokes your assignment is to know the keys of the kingdom like a pilot sitting and say no i off this i off this delaying destiny i off this mediocrity i off this i put on the switch of speed i put on the switch of the anointing why am i a pastor with no members i deactivated he said i give you the keys of the kingdom please listen very carefully please sit down you will find the possibility of poverty activated and tied there many families to remain so but you come through knowledge and you find out that this is not a possibility in the economy of god and you are shown the key to bring it down and suddenly your life changes and they say are you not someone who is associated with this territory you say no more the keys and i will give you the keys of the kingdom listen the bible says speaking to abraham he said from where thou art lift up your eyes and see that means from where you are you can go anywhere but there is a key that takes you there you don't need to go somewhere else from where you are your location your territory notwithstanding you can rise from there please pay attention because what i show you will disarm principalities and powers what i show you will tame life and you will play life like a chess people will only look forward to your downfall as a prophecy that has failed already you are you are standing with stability you are not afraid of your results they came by light let me tell you this any dimension you step into not by understanding you'll be afraid of the results because the boundaries of the spiritual knowledge that should give you confidence and stability is not there a car comes to you and you're afraid what if it spoils will another one come but there is a body of knowledge that when you know it gives you stability if god says give the car you will give it number one out of faith but number two out of understanding of not just god alone the economy of the system has been opened to you the major assignment of a believer is growth the major assignment of a believer is enlightenment being brought through the power of light to a spiritual dimension where ignorance fades away not boastfulness not arrogance but you come to a place of stability i know whom i have believed ah. and i am persuaded see 
there are things when you tell me today it is going to be stupid for me to be worried about no like the future of the ministry like what makes you believe that in the next five to ten years the ministry will be standing strong you see fear truly comes because of ignorance there are things I've found in my life like gems and I pray I pray I pray I pray dear ones in the name of Jesus Christ that the spirit that enlightens brings light may that grace open you up to light in the mighty name of Jesus Christ see let me tell you when you talk there will be mockers there will be foolish men who think you are a talkative until you see the unlimited power these are keys they are not suggestions they are keys they are backed up by God's integrity they are not backed up by a professor a governor a president a monarch this is God we are talking about here please sit down I feel sad and respectfully speaking I submit to you that I feel sorry for any man in our generation today who ignores access to this body of light he has only signed himself and his generation to a life of pain and tragedy I don't care who and I don't care what arrogance is back of that ignorance there are truths when you ignore it's a generation that pays for it it's not an individual listen you are hearing the things that you are hearing blessed are your ears revelation says for they hear these things the truths that you are hearing are a word that is coming to Jacob and is coming for the sake of Israel when God wants to visit Israel he finds Jacob and sends a word to Jacob and it lightens upon Israel thou will show me the path of light for in your light we see light who can claim to see when God has not shown you light what are you seeing Job 29 and verse 3 Job 29 and verse 3 please let's hurry up let's work together media Job 29 and verse 3 Job is speaking now when his candle did what shined upon where my head not upon my feet the first assignment of the light of God is not your feet is to shine upon your head to take away that darkness that vagueness that assumption it may be an age old age old assumption but it's still an assumption a popular assumption is still an assumption and then he says and by his light I walk through darkness that a man can find his way out of light and you find your way and stand in a position where your life becomes a living wonder not that you walk miracles you are one yourself a living miracle your life is a message whether you are preaching or not this is what God is making you become and listen to me you don't become it just by wish you are exposed to an organized body of spiritual knowledge understand my choice of words not every spiritual information makes men there must be an organized body of spiritual knowledge allocated for the various dimensions of God that you want to see manifest in your life when you learn this let me see the power let me see the course let me see the yoke let me see the enchantment let me see the divination let me see the scourging tongues of men and the ill wishes of men that sustains the power to keep you down it no longer exists you will know how cheap darkness is 
when you stand from a point of spiritual illumination it is true that when the light shines in darkness truly the darkness does not comprehend it where we are right now we have to admit is a product of an inaccurate understanding of the body of knowledge allocated for the results we desire please hear me I'm careful to say this thing because sometimes it looks like pride you hear people prophesy I did this I did this and favor came and for me it's not the testimony do you know what you did and can you do it any result that cannot be reproduced is not a real result you can stumble into results but sustainable results that dumbfound the pride of this arrogant age must come by knowledge apostle you don't understand my situation that's why if you were my shoes no sir I respect your pain but I admit to you your pain is proof of the dominion of darkness let light come and you will watch what happens because every desire that we have there is an allocation an allocation of it based on the Word of God and if it is not captured in my life I must admit that there is something I do not know the earlier you admit that there's something you did not know the better for you quickly don't wait till you fail for a long time the moment you start failing stop 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 immediately and say I'm not continuing until I'm sure of what I'm doing that way you will redeem time many people fail for many years they are humbled by life before they have to come back and say okay I didn't get it let me get it now you will thank me for the truths that I share with you you will thank me for the truths that I show you hallelujah now let's explore some keys of the kingdom number one there's part one and there's part two the first key is found in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 everybody read the first four words please shout it as loud as you can first four words one two read one more time one more time one more time last time now this is the first law when God does not begin a thing it has failed in the beginning of anything is not knowledge in the beginning of anything is not skill in the beginning of anything is not connection in the beginning of anything is God hmm. I am Alpha Omega don't call me to join something you started if I do not begin it my commitment is not there I show you a powerful secret in the beginning of your business God in the beginning of your marriage God in the beginning of your exploits in the beginning of ministry this is a secret that has changed my life anything God does not start he will not back he has to start it as Alpha because when he starts it you will use his methods you will not use your method and call on him to back it later our proud world today thinks God is only useful for spiritual life when they want to do business they take God out when they want to do ministry they take God out love and relationship they take God out everything they take God out but I show you the first four words keep it there please media this is the first spiritual law that I want to show you tonight in the beginning of my life God in the beginning of my ministry not passion not desire not assignment consciousness God at the center of it all it's you that I see it's you that I see I don't see myself, I don't see my achievements. 
At the center of it all It's you that I see It's you that I see There is power in your name Miracles happen in your name As we lift our voice in praise, it's you that I see, it's you that I see. Listen up. In the beginning of my marriage, or my desire to marry, beauty, you are joking, you will pay for it. The beginning of my desire to marry a macho, handsome guy with a job with NMPC, you will pay for it eventually. In the beginning of my business, intelligence and a well-accredited mentorship, you have, you have failed already. The first secret to excelling in life is for God to not be a participant, but the alpha of all that you do. Don't call God to participate in an idea that you finish with yourself. You organized it, you chose your life partner, you chose how many children you will give birth to and you say, God, come and bless it. No, God does not work like that. You started your business. You chose your location by yourself. You even bought the first consignment. As soon as it arrived in Nigeria, you say, Lord, here it is. It's yours. It's not his own. You started your ministry, decided where the church will start. You already ordained pastors. You called members. You called everybody and you say, Lord, behold your, 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 your assembly. No, sir. The great know the secret to lifting. They don't move. Moses said, do not send us away from here. We cannot start this journey yo, if your presence will not go with us. We are wasting our time. He didn't say if our weapons don't go with us. He didn't say if our gold. A man that had gold had weapons. Yet he's saying these things are mundane. God, if you will not go with me, please don't send me. How shall they know that we're people that are separate? And God says, you got it. My presence will go with you and I will give you rest. The Bible says, for with God, all things, for with God. Not for when you are moving and you say, okay, God, why are you leaving me? Oh, yeah, now come and hurry up and join. And then you say, God, come. No, sir. Lord, where are you? If you will not lead, I'm not going. I'm not going. Lord, if you will not lead me in ministry, I'm not going. Is it not written in your Bible that if the Lord is your shepherd, you shall not want? No. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. He said, I am the vine. Don't be confused. We are together, but you are the branches. You are not the vine. I am the vine. You are connected to me, but you are the branch. He distributes it very clearly. Our dominion is shared dominion. Not dominion that is derived by our own strength. It's a secret that I've worked with in my life. My brothers and my sisters, I have no business going where God is not going. It is not my concern at all. The pressures of life will push you to many things and places where God is not. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. What looks cheap now will be costly when you start paying for it. When we are about to start this ministry, having done everything by the Spirit, three days before Koinonia would start, we had done crusades. We had been in ministry for a while. But before Koinonia would start, I still went back for a retreat. God, please, one more time. Are you the one speaking? And are you still leading? I tell you the truth. If God said no, that would be the end of it. He must lead the way. When he leads the way, you will follow. Now, thanks be to God who causes us like a blind man how many of you have seen a blind man walking accurately it's not because he can see he's following a man who can see and the man will lead him 
many people do not know this dimension of God we start things by emotion and then we ask God to join when things begin to backfire and God says no 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 you're on your own start with God in your life and watch your life turn into a sign and a wonder no matter how bad it looks if God says I am there go 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 I remember years ago the things that we now walk in God said so and I said Lord if you lead we are going home. and look what God has done and look what he continues to do in the beginning God please return to the place of prioritizing God don't use God let him lead the way many of us only say yes to God if we said yes to it already you just say God just help me confirm no you must be flexible Lord is this ministry your will I've been in it for 10 years but talk to me now if it is not you I'm closing it this night many of us our ego will not allow us to be that obedient is God speaking to us in the beginning God let God start your life so whatever happens you can say God please I'm here if God directs you and grants you approval and you get married to a wife and that lady becomes barren two years three years you have a legal right to go to God with your wife stand with God and say Lord you are the one that joined us all we came to you you gave us the right to choose but we returned it to you and we say we don't trust ourselves guide our decision and you guided us now the devil is bringing barrenness you put pressure on his integrity and he will have to arise If you call me and you are around maybe a bank somewhere and you say you don't have money and I say pick the bike and come and meet me you told me already you don't have money but I said you should come by the time you come and you cannot pay the bike who will pay for it I ask you to come I must take responsibility for your obedience you will always be afraid to go to God when he did not start with you what will you go and tell God now of course his mess is there but you cannot stand now and say oh God this wife you gave me mm -mm, mm -mm. you were at the beer parlor under the heavy and then on that day you drank unusually and it's from the standpoint of that drunkenness you made a destiny decision and now you have to pay for it of course, God is a merciful God and he can restore. But the truth is, before the restoration comes, you will be paying for it until the word of the Lord came. The word tried him. Look at me, please. Don't be too big to allow God start. Don't feel my ego is there. I'm too intelligent. Let church not, not make me a dull person. I'm intelligent. I went to school not destiny not destiny you must learn to step back and say oh god of heaven i declare before you sincerely there is nothing that i know moves god like a broken and a contrite heart let god find a man who is genuinely broken and contrite he will veto whatever is wrong and come a broken heart is a real invitation for his presence are we together let me give us one more. Ah, there are keys, so the keys are many. You hold them and hang them like a chain, a chain of royalty, a royal diadem, and you move through life. You stand by this door, you remove one key. You open it. There are doors you don't just open, you break the door so that others can pass too. Because you can pass and the door will be locked. He has broken the gates of brass. Not opened it, broken it. And cut the bars of iron in sunder. So that others can pass. 
Will I pass a door and my child will not pass? Number two. Are, are you understanding what I'm teaching you? Please use this. Please use this. God told me something years ago and said, Son, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. In other words, if like John, you agree to decrease. John said in John chapter 3 and verse 31, he says that I may decrease so that you may increase. And I, if I be lifted up, not you, if you are lifted up, you will fall. But if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men. When they bowed down to Jesus, they also bowed down to the donkey that was carrying him. When they put the leaves on the ground for Jesus to walk, his feet never touched the palm. But it was the donkey that carried him. Who told you when you carry Jesus, you fail? It's an honor to let the world see him. It's something I've learned in ministry. It's something I've learned in my life. Sincerely, my desire, I tell you, is not for fame. It's not for power. It's not for money. I desire from the depth of my heart to represent the face of God to a generation. To show a generation that it pays to lift the name of the Lord. It pays to be passionate over the things of God in a man's lifetime. And I remember when God showed me a vision and I saw a generation of men. I was standing somewhere, no food, no water, they were crying. That whole generation. And I came to them, I said, why? They said, you are the reason. And I was afraid to go because a few people were looking for me. And I made up my mind that I will go. If I perish, I perish. As soon as I stepped out, I saw a giant man and he held my hands. He said, let's go. For you to be lifted, all I want is for you. For you to be glorified, for you to be lifted, all I want is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted. When God begins your life, the passion for fame dies, I tell you. The passion to prove a point. The celebrity obsession dies at once. I want to be known so that I prove to other people I'm not a failure. It's totally unnecessary. Provided in your journey is enough evidence of the hand of God. I tell you why God does not use many people. It's not because they don't pray. It's not because they don't fast. It's not because they are not holy. Because the corruption in their heart the dimension of obsession for fame and the some of you as you are looking at me like this if if a drop of anointing comes on your destiny god will not hear you again everybody must bow down to you everybody must kneel down and lie down to greet you and you will keep the person there for everybody to see before you say now you can stand up my my dear son all this pride that continues to kill men I tell you why many people do not rise. There are some of us, we have it hidden. Some of us are boastful and outspoken about it. Others are quiet, but it's still there. Waiting for something to bring it out. That, that, that appetite to outshine is a loss that needs to crumble at his presence. In the beginning, God. And at the end of it, God. If nobody ever sees me today and all they see is God and his mighty works, sincerely I stand before the God of heaven and I tell you I am satisfied. I am. The things that you see and hear God doing through my life and this ministry, I stand and I bless him for it. But let me tell you this, 
you ask God, he will tell you, I have no business trying to search for fame, apostle Joshua, Selman, the great man of God. Thank God for all of those things. But my brothers and my sisters, I'm wise enough to know that without him, I can do nothing. Get to that point in your life where everything about God is your obsession. Don't use God to get fame. Listen, let me tell you, many people leave God to try to get money and you find out how much have you gotten? How much? You have just gotten trouble all around. When God swears over you to lift you, let any obstacle clear that way because even if you are a believer, it will crush you. When God vows upon a man, listen, if you can make this vow this night and say, Lord, I give up this search for to be known. Now, sometimes it's not demonic. It's because of our background. We came from backgrounds where, and some of us, our cultures, you derive respect from the money, the jeep, the car, the house. The moment that is there, they say, ah, you are a real man. Thank God for culture, but please be born again. Please be born again. Don't just be saved. Be born again. Subscribe to another culture. Let me tell you this. When you hide behind the cross, that is the way the whole world sees you. The secret to your being seen is his being seen. When they see Jesus, they have to see you. My life is a testimony. My brothers and my sisters, hear what I teach you and be wise and rise from this mediocrity in life. It does not start with just intellect. There is a place for all these things. But don't forget these first four words that start your Bible. In the beginning, God. Not in the middle, then God comes. <clears throat> in the beginning. This is how I run my life. It is God. Oh. Everything I have belongs to Him. You never hear me say, you only hear me say my thing, just in terms of responsibility. But God knows. If He started the beginning, then anything I find there is His own before I came. My house is His own. My cars, His own. The influence, His own. The fame, His own. The anointing, His own. I'm only a steward and I remain a steward forever. And the Bible says, moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. I show you why only few people ever rise in a generation. It's not Rema. It's not miracles. You can walk every miracle you know and be shocked that your influence never grows. You can have every revelation you have and move in dimensions of power never seen and be shocked that people receive your miracles and still despise you. Let all the other names fade away. Let that be your prayer. Let every other name fade away. Till there's only you every other name fade away. Jesus, take your place. Every other name fade away. Listen down. Let's start the second. The second is almost a master key, except that it submits to God too. The second is almost a master key. Listen, listen. What I'm about to share with you now will take away worry from your life. This worry about what to eat. This worry about what to wear. This worry about how you will become famous. It will fade completely and live your life. This is a revision series. You may not have gotten it the last time, but please get it now. 
success is not pursued success is not pursued success is not what you look for you will never find it success was designed to come just like fate just like fate comet you don't pursue fate uh -uh. you don't pursue success please hear me success is what is attracted to you by reason of who you are becoming not what you are doing who you are becoming please understand this spiritual law and stop wasting your time looking for mundane things that will never come success is not what you pursue seeking success is a cause spending your life looking for it is a cause are we together now please look up let me teach um come gentlemen let me have six or eight gentlemen sit down pastor Alfon. sit down please come sit down you come quickly so that we'll save time just stand this way stand facing me space yourselves thank you thank you and you stand um, my friend you stand here watch this everybody thank you now please watch this call all of these people the needs of men say the needs of men one more time please shout it say the needs of men call sam is looking sharp call this financial prosperity you are all looking sharp eh? my dear people you are all looking sharp now watch this call this financial prosperity that's what you are looking for are we together call this marital peace oh how we need it marital peace are we together call this influence and fame we need it too social media world we need it a lot likes and follows call this speed are we together call this what do you call this favor ah koinonia favor favor and then call this impact now watch this this is me help me starting out my life with zero possibilities zero possibilities now watch this did you know how frustrating it would be for me ladies and gentlemen to start pursuing these things one by one these six only represent the uncountable needs that represent success to men and we think that the way to become successful is to isolate these things one by one and begin to seek them that burden is too much an intelligent god will not design success that way are we together now so when you pursue success it means if you are to spend 120 years on earth you spend 30 years seeking no money is even a lifetime you spend 30 years seeking a wife or a husband another how many years seeking all of these things your lifetime together will not allow you get them this is the cause of the fallen man to seek things one by one jesus rebuked people again and again for seeking things he says the gentiles run after these things they run after they run after but your heavenly father knows that ye have need of it now watch this this is how god designed the kingdom i pray for you that you will get this once and for all now watch this at this level notice my prayer i'm a prayer warrior oh god open the windows of heaven finances give me finance oh god a good wife good children i will never give birth to an arm robber i won't give birth to a thief at this level your prayer is valid because there are many things you do not know father grant me favor in the name of jesus lord grant me fame grant me speed and i'm praying and sometimes i'm tempted to leave god to quickly get them now watch this all these guys represent levels everybody say levels they represent dimensions say dimensions for every level i get to designed by god 
are the possibilities already allocated to gravitate towards my growth at that level. So human beings are in versions. Are we together now? There is a version of me that cannot be a millionaire. No. It is God's law that will stop that version from being a millionaire. It's not an attack. If I pray to be a millionaire, God will answer me by providing the growth that takes me to the realm where that possibility was allocated. Please understand what I'm teaching you. Now, the challenge with believers is that we stay where we are and we try to use prayer to, what are you called? Impacts. Now, I'm here oh, full of ignorance and pride and yet I want to make Benny Hinn's impact and I borrowed the impact for two weeks like a rubber ring. What happens? It will leave me again. Anything that does not come to you because of your growth must leave you. It will leave as losses it will live as armed robbers it will live as thieves forget about the actors there is a law that compels that any level that you any object you get that does not resonate with your growth must leave you it's a law i show you the laws of the kingdom i show you the way we grow now watch this these guys are standing here. Now, gentlemen, this is what I want you to do. For every step I take forward, you to take a step forward. Are, are we together? Now, watch this. I am here and I was invited to come for Koinonia. A broke, confused, wearing my smelly cloth. All I know is God. And I have the, the opportunity to sit under a heavy anointing and mentorship. And now I am taught certain things. Watch this. As the word of God is shining upon my mind, I may not know what I'm doing, but I'm taking a step. And the things I'm looking for are also taking a step. Are you seeing that now? All at once. Or this is what will happen. Step back. When I step to your level, you step forward. Are we together? Now, watch this. I am here right now. And I move forward. And these guys come. Now, notice, without prayer, some results start coming because I grew there. Now, my eye is here and it's good to look far, but it's not going to come to your life. Listen, hold on. Let me teach you something. If Papa E.A. Adeboye today empties his account this night, before 12 noon, millions will come back. I will tell you why. It's not because there are givers. It's not because he's a man of God. When the money disappears, the law of God will send a signal to heaven that this growth level should not have this kind of account reflect. The justice system of God must balance that destiny. This is what physics has tried to describe a long time ago. That there is a system of balance in life. It is not a lie. Please understand this. Now watch this. I sit down here as a confused Christian and if I'm not properly mentored, I quickly come here and lie down on someone's BMW and just say it is mine. If you mean it is yours with the law of process and engaging this, you are right. But you mean you want it now. Even if they give you now, there is a system design that will take it from you. See, let me tell you, it is why many people never hold on to things sustainably. They have balloon success. They open up today and shrink back again. There were certain things that it would be stupid for me to desire 10 years ago, 15 years ago. No, growth brought it. So I'm growing. Shakaba katosia. Praying every day as I'm learning a key, as I'm sowing seeds, as I'm building. Look at what I'm doing. It's moving towards me. Moving towards me. Are you seeing that now? A time will come where everything that I see, come gentlemen, I will be immersed in my possibilities. I can no longer leave them. It will not make a difference again whether I give or don't give financially speaking. I've entered a realm of financial equilibrium. Where what goes and what comes, it doesn't make a difference. The only thing is just my faith with God. But at this level, when I give, I will know it. 
I will know something left me. Now watch this. Let me tell you what God is doing to you every week you are coming. You are right here. You may not know what is happening. Listen to me. Please, just be sensitive and pay attention. You may not know what it is that is happening to you. But this is the law of God. Man of God, don't sit back just admiring everybody. While you are praying, you are learning the principles. You are learning leadership. What you are doing is you are walking through life. What you are looking for is also looking for you. What you are looking for is also looking for you. A day will come by the Spirit of God. Hear me please. That day except God is not God. A day will always come. That includes the anointing. Watch this. Call these dimensions of the anointing. My brothers, you cannot stand at this level and want to operate in the anointing and the spirit at this level. No matter what impartation, all this double portion prayer, of course, is just a sincere prayer by well-meaning people. Even the man of God knows it's not double portion that came on that person. It just fell down so that it's just hunger that was imparted to go back to the secret place. This is where Benny Hinn started. And he kept growing. He kept growing. He has to touch everybody here for them to be imparted. And he will be tired from hours of personal ministration. But as he stepped up, he got to a level where his word became his hands. It can reach people and touch them. It doesn't matter where. Now watch this. At this level, the anointing will not move till you play the keyboard, clash the cymbal, charge everywhere, till there is prayer, till the people fast, till their hearts are open. He thinks that's how God operates until he comes higher. You get to a realm where someone can be doubting you and still go under the anointing. He does not believe you. He even hates you, yet he's rising from a wheelchair. So what took him up? For every time you backslide, this is what happens. Every time you are offended and angry, I won't go to church again. I'm tired. This is what you are doing to yourself. Shifting you father. Sincerely, this thing I'm acting is how destiny works. Let me tell you this. Business people, hear me. If you believe that you will imaginarily stumble into millions just by meeting a business or an investment or become just tumble into it, you are joking, it will leave you. It is only growth that has the power to keep any possibility. So the way we succeed is not what we do. It is who we become. There is a version of me that should not be inside an aircraft. If I enter an aircraft, the aircraft will throw me out. Are we together? There is a version of me that should not have a car. If I want a car, I don't look for a car. I grow into the realm where a car was allocated. So when I'm here, watch this. In this realm as provided by God, there should be cars and there should be houses. If God says, so your car and you give it, the realm itself will look for a replacement. It is God's system. There is a level that you stand, you will never have more than 500 members. It doesn't matter how many days you fast, you cannot have it. Your mind and your growth does not allow it. You can stand and be offended. The more you insult a man that has a crowd and say, what is crowd? This is what you are doing to your own results. You are authorizing the realm of the spirit to reject you when those possibilities come near you. But when you stand and grow and say, Lord, what did you show them? As the light of God is shining upon your head, you are moving from obscurity from mediocrity please understand what i teach you this is how the great rise that's why they are not afraid of their growth they did not jump they grew and jesus increased listen let me tell you this forget about poverty and forget about all of these things i'm not saying don't pay attention to them do you know you will grow and not know when this realm the possibilities there left you which tailor will sew my cloth oh you go around looking for a tailor, you will die looking for a tailor. Just grow. The tailor is waiting for the 
renewed version of you. There is a realm where a tailor has been kept to adorn you. Did Joseph look for the person who put his garment? Was he not in the prison? The garment maker was waiting for the renewed version of him. There are many things you are praying for now that have been answered already in your growth. Let me get a jeep. What is jeep, my brothers and my sisters? Don't mock the investment of the spirit upon your life. When you know this, anybody that receives a miracle is like the hand of a clock rotating. You start rejoicing because it's the same thing you are hearing. And you know that your turn is coming. See, let me tell you. Come. When you stand at this realm and people begin to pray and say, we know that one day it will go down. This money will go down. The crowd, you see the foolishness of the imagination of weak men. You are not here by luck. The justice of God is what backs the result at this level. The only thing God can do with you is to vet you based on his eternal standard. But as far as these things live in you, it will never go again. The only thing is that your system of accreditation and growth and vetting is not these things. No matter how God punishes you, please hear me, these things will not leave. The only way these things will leave is when you go back. And you cannot undo what you already know. That is the reason why Lucifer, the light bearer, can still make you prophesy, can still make you wealthy. Lucifer, you can go to Satan because he stood in a position as the exalted light bearer of God and there were possibilities that were tied to his office when he fell the possibilities did not go the knowledge is still with him therefore the results still continue to come it is true it is true there is a version of Jesus that 5,000 men could not come to not the baby in the manger not the 12 year old Jesus not even the 30 unbaptized Jesus. There was a version of Jesus that creation was waiting for. And the father told that version, creation, now hear ye this version. Not the version in the tabernacle. Hear me. Everything you are looking for is looking for you. But not this version of you. So once and again, your future keeps coming to you and checking if you are there. And returns back and says, we have not yet seen him. Your future is answering God. So the Bible says creation is waiting. Waiting for the manifest. Creation keeps checking. Are they there? He says they are not yet there. But when you grow, you will grow to a realm where creation will now see the manifestation of the sons of God. Please hear me. There is a version of this ministry that we cannot go to at this level. No. There is a level of grace and power and intelligence and knowledge. The future of this ministry is already waiting. Checking for us and saying Koinonia has not arrived. In that future, Koinonia is not yet there. If we stop here, God will have to make do with what is available. But that's not what would have been. So when we continue to grow, a day will come, this building will start driving us. This building like a living thing we start saying go out go out of this environment and the environment waiting for us will start saying come you are ready there is a way you will grow that the house you are staying now will drive you it must drive you the key is not to start looking for another house the key is to wait you will know you are ready when the house starts driving you there are clothes you are wearing today that will run away. You will not give it. You will not sew it, but you will not find it. The same way you could not find the former ones you are wearing. Where were they? Where are they now? The clothes you wore 10 years ago, where is it? You did not pack it in a bag and sewed it. Where did it go to? Please understand what I teach you. These are the secrets that the Lord brought to me and gave me rest. I don't chase things. You can stay from your room and like a magnet attract anything from the globe. Provided it is on earth, 
they will walk like the animals. This was the strategy that brought the animals to the ark of Noah. The animals were in the bush. If Noah went looking for them one by one, he would die there. I show you this from scripture. Noah built the ark. The moment the ark was ready, this law started calling the animals. One by one, they started marching. If animals came to the ark, your money is on earth, but the hand to collect it is not this hand. There is a hand that is trained by the Lord. When you lift it from all over the earth, it will come. There was a time in this ministry, I'm rounding up, we didn't have a domiciliary account. Not because we didn't see the need to. We just felt no problem. When the time comes, we'll cross. Do you know how we opened a domiciliary account? I'm just giving you an example in this ministry. I was somewhere when the manager of GT Bank here, the manager called me and he said, sir, I need to talk to you. I'm the manager of GT Bank. I said, okay, no problem. And then I spoke with him and he said, someone, people have been trying to make transfers, international transfers. And here and there, they change it to Naira and send it. But that mm -mm, the, the, is becoming overwhelming. And one did not care whether you have an account or not. He sent the money and the money has been hanging with no account to credit it. And he said, please, can we open an account? That was a sign. I said, we have gotten there. We have gotten to that level. If I open a domiciliary account 20 years ago for the ministry, or 15 years ago, let me tell you what will happen. It will keep being dormant. You will reopen, dormant, reopen, dormant, reopen, until the day your growth gets there, then you call it breakthrough. It was not just breakthrough. It was growth. Ah, rejoice not over me my enemies what you are mocking me with is in my future I just need to grow there my brothers and sisters hear me what is a house that it should intimidate you what about the paint cannot be manufactured again what about the space just be patient and grow when you get to that point you will grow there you can patch through life and keep drawing results like a rubber ring they will shoot back and leave you in shame I choose the way of growth there are levels this ministry has not gotten to. I'm not ashamed. We will stay honorably and grant God grace to take us there. But when we get there, there is a level we get to where the satellites will start calling and say, come, come, come. At that level, you will find out that five or six business partners will come and say, Apostle, we are paying for the TV station of this ministry for 10 years. You know growth by the ease it brings. When there is unnecessary suffering and difficulty, sometimes it's not just pushing through by faith. It's that you are forcing life to deliver a result you have not gotten yet. Amazing the things I so desired in my life and the way they come now that you cannot even drive them. These are the keys of the kingdom. So you can stay from one room and your mind is in an estate not just by wishful thinking you can stay as a man of God and everybody is despising you they are not seeing the grace of God upon your life don't worry you don't have to move around with cards and saying do you know I'm anointed I've been watching you you are acting as if I'm not a man of God don't worry let me tell you if you remain in the same position it is not just an attack it is proof that you are not growing you know you are growing by the possibilities that start leaving and others that start coming there are things your yesterday should leave you for your tomorrow to come if your yesterday follows you into your today you are still in yesterday are we together thank you gentlemen god bless you and may you not forget this thing please rise up hold hands together our time is gone hold hands with someone we have to pray tonight Hold someone's hands. There is no need to rush. All provided for in your growth. All provided for. Listen to me. Listen to me. 
Pastor Femi's tiny baby girl. Do you know that small girl has a womb? But that womb cannot have a child. Why? Growth. The womb is there. But the womb cannot be with child. Give him a few years and he will not only be a father, but he will be a grandfather. Sponsored by what? Growth. Men of God, hear me. Don't be part of any diabolic association and any fraternity of evildoers because you are trying to grow in ministry. Just grow. Just grow. And let me see the darkness that will cover your impact. Just grow. As far back as April or May this year, my schedules up until June 2020 has been full. It is growth. Imagine that I have to go around every church and every place and say, do you know I'm anointed? Have you not heard of one guy called Apostle Joshua Selman? <laughs> Let me even talk for my... You see, if you act like that, you will, you will embarrass yourself. There are many doing it. If you have to advertise yourself, it's proof that there are no results. Most people don't know the power of results. Results are so powerful. And it was noised abroad that Jesus was in town. Please pay attention this week and don't miss church on Friday. Go back after this prayer. I apologize, our time is gone. Go and meet the media after the prayer or go on YouTube. Search for all the teachings where I taught on the mysteries of the kingdom and success system. Use this week to sit down on it. If you can fast even for one or two days, add it. Don't listen to it on your way to the office. You will not understand anything there. Settle down with destiny. Lie down on the ground. As a man of God, carry what... Please pray. And pray for an enlightened mind. Pray your way out of that level. Understand your way out of that realm. And get to a realm where no power and no enchantment is able to stand. But who is there like you? There's no one above you. I lead the earth to worship you. Lift your hands and sing that song. I lead the earth. Both of you hold your hands. Who is there like you? Who is there like you? No one beside you. I lead the earth. Hallelujah. Let's cost this thing. You believe that? It will be cost. Mm. Jesus changed their genotypes. Please let them know miracles are real. Your, the power of God is coming upon both of you. Right now. In the name of Jesus. I command a change. Supernatural change. Of that genotype. We change it in the spirit. Change it. SS turns to AA now. SS turns to AA now. SS turns to AA now. You will go to the hospital, you will confirm it. We call it done. SS turns to AA now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me someone outside. I know we're going to pray for everyone, but I'm still a woman outside. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I'm seeing a woman outside, someone outside. You're trusting God for the fruit of the womb. You are wearing her tie. Her tie. Not like her tie of a cloth, but like, like silk or something like that. Who is that person? Please run and come. Is it green? It's not green. It's many colors like flowers. Like flowers. I don't know if it's flowers I'm seeing. Please, who is that woman? And then it's like something black. 
I'm also seeing something black. Is it like a cloth, black or jacket? Come. and check yourself it's over and then the lord is going to use you lift your hands the lord wants to impart an anointing upon you look at me father use this girl for your glory in jesus name from the depths of my heart i release the healing anointing upon you right now that anointing will come on you right now right now never be the same go and begin to heal the sick in the name of jesus you will feel fire coming on both of your hands right now that's the healing power of Jesus Christ touching you and may you take that healing power to nations in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ both of them please come your hunger for spiritual things will be satisfied tonight both of you lift your hands Jesus let their lives never be the same. In the name of Jesus. As I lay my hands upon you, I plant a hunger. Ay, 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 ay. Hold your hands together. Hold your hands together. The power of God is moving from these two ladies and it will move across this room. And there is a separation and it's on only ladies. Only ladies. Right now, as I lay my hands on them, it's happening across certain ladies the fire of god will just come upon you let it be done now 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 the vistas of eagles for ladies shikai only ladies the holy spirit told me only ladies bring them out the borders i call you from the realm of the spirit the borders i call you from the realm of the spirit i call for the borders the border mantles I call them forth from the realm of the spirit. It's spilling over outside. Outside. I'm seeing a cloud moving outside. The borders are catching the fire of the spirit. Lord, we give you praise. That, ma that madam on green, the Lord is going to begin to open your eyes. Where you are, an angel of the Lord is standing close to you right now. And I see an impartation of the spirit of revelation. Now, take it where you are. Mankata barakate. Teleko shoposkaba. According to the time of life, return with your baby. Now. Return with your baby. Now. According to the time of life, we put an end to anything. Let my king be lifted up. Oh. Bring that lady. Bring her. 
for the angels who did not keep their original estate what are you doing in this body it's time for you to leave now without manifestation don't waste our time out hold your peace and leave now never to return and as you go let there be a restoration of everything in the name of the Christ of God you leave now and let this family experience breakthroughs thank you Jesus Christ thank you it ends it ends the captivity of 17 years ends in the name of Jesus it ends Bring her. Jesus, you believe ten higher. The Lord will use you, but before He uses you, that devil of darkness must let you go. Therefore, I speak to you. I see you in the spirit. There is no hiding. You are not of God. And I judge you by the authority of the kingdom I represent. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus. Let her go right now. Fibroid. Fibroid. I'm seeing fibroid. We are going to pray. We will pray for every sick person who has come. But let's just flow as the Holy Ghost. Can I talk to her, madam? Come. If you're coming out here for fruit of the womb, make sure you are married. Properly married, please. We are Christians. Hallelujah. Fruit of the womb. How many years? Just one year. This one year. Yes, sir. What is uh, ah, Look at what I'm seeing in the spirit. But the devil is very wicked. I'm looking at this woman and I kept quiet and then the Lord began to show me Steve I saw an angel of the Lord bringing a child right listen to me but then immediately it entered this realm I just saw blood then I saw an angel coming with a child again and when it entered this realm I saw blood how many times have you had mister two times two times this is what I saw in the spirit that as the angel of the Lord brought a child but in this realm, I saw blood and it was miscarriage. But Jesus is Lord. See, I'm not doing anything. There is absolutely nothing. This is Jesus the Christ. The one who should be exalted. Madam, you believe in the Lord. That's why you are here. According to the time of life, I speak to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will stand before the people of God with your miracle baby. And I see God cleaning your stomach so that they don't tell you there is an infection. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? In the name of Jesus. It's over right now. Return with your miracle baby in Jesus name. You too. You're married. Fruit of the womb. What did the doctors tell you? They said there's fibroid. There's fibroid. Because as I was standing, I was hearing fibroid, fibroid. Come and stand. Listen to me. You will go to ease yourself. And you will pass out this whole fibroid physically. You will see it coming out. You believe in miracles? Huh? Because the solution is not operation. They will operate you and then it will come back again. This is what I'm saying. Yeah? It's not about operation. There is a name that is above all names. I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not negating medicine. Are you getting my point? I'm just ministering in the capacity. Drink of the wine of the spirit. May you never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same not only prayer fire but you are receiving the healing anointing is coming from your spirit the same thing is happening to you both of them
please lift your hands. There is the healing anointing that will come upon some people right now. Lift your hands. Father, as many of those people right now, right now, right now, it's going to come as fire. I see liquid fire in the spirit. Go ahead and shout Jesus once. One to go. Receive it. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. Receive it now. Inside and outside. Receive it now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Someone hold Shade. Hold Shade so she doesn't fall. Hold up, but the healing anointing is coming on her. It's, it's, it's more of a scary because it has always been there. It has always been there. Three of you hold your hands. Ken, Kenny, I promise. Hold your hands. Look at me. In the name of Jesus. Take it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Step into new levels. New levels of the anointing. New levels of the power of the Spirit. New dimensions in the spirit. Hold, please place one hand on your stomach. Say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lord, I believe in you. Let five broad. Let fibroid pass out of my body now. Pass out of my body now. Now watch what happens to you. You prayed it yourself. Fibroid, you are a spirit. Benga, lift your hands. There is an angel standing close to you. Take it now. Oh, Shabari Kata. Seka Tika Pumske Tika Pa. Raka Pa Dupa Tite Pedeke Tila Pumsh. Mans Kadabali Greti Sutoba Lanaba. My dear, touch this lady for me. The Lord has heard your prayer. Come, come, please save time. Come, look at me. What is wrong? Why are you crying? It's okay. Rob, Jesus is here. Tonight is a night of divine solutions. Look at me. Lay your hands on your stomach. Let there be a visitation, oh God. Right now. I cause evil. It ends. I appoint it to end now. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, you will return with your miracle baby. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just hold my hands and look at me. The Lord is touching your stomach. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hmm. Be made whole right now in Jesus' name. You? Adam? Where is he? He's at home. What's he doing? Uh, he's walking. He's walking. Uh, he's preparing for his wedding. He's preparing for what? His wedding. His wedding. Yes. We have to pray. So that you will not have an accident on the road. Huh? Where is where are they doing the wedding? Don't be afraid. Go. I'm not a prophet of doom. There's no room. This is this is the word. There is only light. You understand? Hold my hands. Lord in Jesus' name. Let there be perfection right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my dear. You are what? Where's your mother, my dear? She's at home. She's at home. Yeah. Let's pray for her. The Lord wants to bring miracles for her. There's someone with... You came with a picture of someone. Is it that he's abroad or... Abroad. He's abroad. Because this is what I'm seeing. Hold on now. This is a picture abroad. Eh? She do travel there. But now she's in Abuja. She travels abroad. Who is yes, she? My auntie, fruit of the womb. She got married. Hold on sis. now. <laughs> Let me talk to you. I'm seeing four lines on this picture. How many years has she been married? Since 2006. 
I'm seeing four lines. She's had at least as she had miscarriages. Yes, but I don't know how many times. This is four. I'm seeing one, two, three, four. Four different miscarriages. They even wanted to try. Um, anyway, that's not the issue. You believe Jesus Christ for her? Lord Jesus Christ, you are mighty in our midst. Glorify your son. Right now, let the power of God touch her. Let it touch you through her. In the name of Jesus, you return with your miracle. My dear, let me pray for your mother. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be healing for her mother. And let there be healing for you in Jesus' name. Your sister, what's wrong with her? She got married since 2003 and still up to now. She has no fruit of the womb. Where are you from? I'm from Gardner State. I won't say it here, but you see, let me speak a parable. When Jesus comes into your life, when you need the help of God, you can't mix salt water and clean water. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Huh? You can't come and mix salt water and then you want Jesus Christ to add fresh water on top. If you are for God, you must seek him completely. Hallelujah. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about them. You see, when we become desperate for a change, we are humans. And I know that a lot of people will start suggesting a lot of things. Jose, it's not like he's a herbalist. He used to just see. Look, let me tell you. We've shared this you can get my teaching on the mysteries of the kingdom. Herbalists and demonic people, they work with, they manipulate spiritual laws, correct spiritual laws. But it is not a spiritual law that makes you a Christian. It is that it must be initiated and sustained by only the wisdom of the Holy Spirit. Ken, God is visiting your family. God is visiting your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Ella, the Lord is visiting your family. I'm seeing the angel of the Lord and I'm seeing them going to Kano in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is visiting your family and even you is visiting you. What is happening to you is restoration. Restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is bringing restoration. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for sick people now. So if you came with um, your sick, immediately I pray for this lady. Now is the time so that we can minister to the sick. It's amazing that this is a vigil and it's already morning. Praise God. Um, sweetheart, look at me. What's her name? Ladi. Ladi. Ladi yes. In the name of Jesus, Ladi, we bring you the power of the kingdom. By the mercy of God, we command be made whole right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, return with your child. Thank you, Jesus. Now, if you came here specifically for healing, any part of this country or this city please come out right now it's time for you to be healed time for you to be healed come and stand please ushers just line them up god is already touching people look how many people came specifically to be healed hallelujah steve can you come and just lead us in worship while we do that? Please don't remain. Don't worry. We are patient. This is a miracle service. We are not here to waste your time. Please be patient. No fighting. No nothing. Jesus Christ is going to step in. No matter what the situation is. Listen to me. No matter what the situation is. I'd like you to believe in Jesus. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing. Jesus, we Jesus, there is healing in your name. Now, some of you stood here for healing, but the Lord is going to be touching other areas of your life. But please, we are ministering specifically to sick people. We have 
very few minutes and we have to do a lot of things please make sure that you connect while you're seated don't be distracted hallelujah as steve leads us in worship i like us to connect to what god is doing because there are still at least two or three things that we have to do praise god and in case you've not written your prayer request god answers prayers in this place those of you crying stop crying stop crying i'm seeing a lot of people crying and it's touching me my dear please stop crying jesus will visit you listen never criticize the healing ministry you don't know the pain people are going through no there are families here there are people just standing here but i tell you the truth they are dying there are families that are dying look how many people they all sang praise and worship pastor truly truly the reality of god's power must while we try to teach them to live in that reality of divine health god is still merciful enough to help them we cannot are you getting my point lord jesus we thank you for the ability to heal the sick we truly give you the glory in the name of jesus christ let your healing power be strong let every infirmity in this place bow to the lordship of jesus in the mighty name of jesus christ let every infirmity bow as i lay my hands upon you the lord set you free sister look at me healed now your stomach the lord is setting you free so please let's be organized while they lead worship those of us seated please be praying in tongues and connecting there are so many things we are going to do thank you jesus let the name of the lord be exalted in the name of Jesus, go ahead. Oh, Jesus, we believe. Jesus, there is healing in your name. Jesus, What is wrong? This is stroke. Complete stroke. You are unable to move. Oh, the devil is wicked. What is this? Father, would you do a miracle in our daddy's body right now? I curse the spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ. Let life come to your limbs in the name of Jesus Christ. Let life come to your limbs. You are going to walk right now in Jesus name you believe that look at me sir in the name of Jesus walk come 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 are you feeling strength come walk don't be afraid you will not fall in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus for what you are doing I give you all the praise I give you all the place I, I losing all of the nerves in the name of Jesus Christ by the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ please exercise yourself around you can turn back exercise yourself give Jesus praise careful careful for him this is completely paralyzed of stroke the devil is so wicked so wicked thank you Lord Jesus Christ go ahead Steve let's save time thank you Jesus Christ my dear it's okay stop crying why are you crying <laughs> You are what? Spirit husband for a very long time. Spirit husband. The Bible says male and female, not female and spirit. Male and female. Look at me. Weep not. When Jesus steps in, there is Oh, I love Jesus. Look at me. You believe Jesus will set you free? Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Ready? Go ahead. Jesus! 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 Out! Out of 
far now. Out! I challenge you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That wicked spirit. Out! 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 This lady has been going to church every Sunday. Yet this spirit has been comfortably sitting down. Her academic zero. Everything zero. You leave now never to return. Now! Never to return. For the blood speaks. I come with the rod of a higher priesthood. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. For you are glorious. Sleep. And worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb upon the throne. Let's save time. Time is not on our side. Come, 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 come. It's true. There is nothing working. What is Anambra? That's Anambra Street. Anambra? I know, I know. What is Anambra? What do you have to do with Anambra? No, I have nothing to do with Anambra. I'm from because I'm seeing Anambra. Who is, who is there? Is there anyone from? No, I'm seeing a lady. Oh, this is a lady. No, this is a lady. And I'm seeing an Ambra. Huh? I think so. maybe you are from the state or something like that. Who? Oh. Um, no, no, let me just. I know there are many people. Just follow. Come. Please, let's save time. There is so much to do. Jesus, let this idol that I see, I'm looking at this lady and I'm not seeing her face. I'm seeing the face of something that is as old as 127 years old. It's something that they worship in an Ambra state. This is what the Lord is showing me. And it has tied down her life. Because I'm seeing chains, but the chains are made up of snakes in the name that is above all names. Be set free now. I lay my hands upon you as an envoy of God's presence. Be free. Be free now. Let her family go. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Daddy, where are the children? I'm going to pray for you, sir. Things will turn around in your life. I want to assure you. All the way from where, sir? From Kaduna. You came from Kaduna. Jesus, well, don't worry. You understand? I know what is wrong with you. This is not a word of knowledge. I'm aware. But I want to.
you to know that Jesus is Lord. No matter how impossible it is with men, it must go. You are not alone. There are many people with this same thing in this place. The Lord Jesus is there. Hold my hands. You are risen from the dead. You are Lord. Light is shining. Let her go. Out! In the name of Jesus Christ. Lay your hands on your stomach, my dear. I release the power of God. I set you free. Now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Daddy, I'm seeing both of your hands tied down. And the Lord is telling me to release you. Financially, things are very down. Is that true? Sorry, Steve. I'm sorry. Financially very down, and I've been battling with diabetes and hiccup. Hiccups. Hiccup. When it started, it, it seemed like it, it was trying to block my chest. How long has this been, sir? It started February this year. Yes. You came and here. I had been hospitalized for two times on that. On this. Yes. Jesus is going to heal you right now. Amen. Oh Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I don't know what would have done for people except for the power of the Holy Spirit. Daddy be healed right now. Please hold my hands. May you begin to prosper by the Spirit of God. I release you and your family members. Be healed. Diabetes, be healed. I rebuke that devil of infirmity in the name of the Lord Jesus. God bless you. All right, Steve, please lead us in worship. Let's hurry up. There are so many people. Please don't worry. I mustn't listen. Let me tell you something. I think I need to explain something. I don't have to prophesy, like mention your case. Are you getting my point? For you to know that okay, the Lord is going to touch you, not at all. So you don't have to push me. Everyone who are going to minister to you. Why are you crying? Come. 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 What's the problem, my dear? What's the problem? Oh. What? Kidney infection and HIV. You know that physically speaking, this is a death sentence. Kidney plus HIV. But not when Jesus, not when he steps in. Sweetheart, with men, it is impossible but the Lord will give you brand new kidneys right now. And that devil of HIV must pack his load and live your life. See, you know, the reason why many of us never have the anointing is because we don't have the patience to help people. We just want to shine. If you truly care about people, compassion is what moves the release of the anointing. When I see people cry, it affects me. I remember the things that I saw in the spirit. My dear, there is a way. And Jesus is that way. Are you listening to me? I make boast to tell you that you will be healed. Absolutely. It's not trial and error. Look at, look at how, how many people are crying. You just see people standing. But some people have already, it's like they've signed their death warrant. I speak to every hopeless situation in this place. In the name of Jesus, like the dry bones in Ezekiel's valley, there is hope for you tonight. In the name of Jesus, bless you, Steve. Jesus is the way. Thank you, Jesus. Heal! Now! Brand new kidneys. HIV never returned. I cause that virus. It leaves your body right now. No trace, no single trace, and I command those dead kidneys. Let brand new kidneys come from heaven.
is a wound or is rotting or something. I'm seeing a bandage. Oh my God. This is, it's okay, it's okay. I know. This woman's leg is rotting. Jesus, I stretch my hand. Please do a miracle. Mommy, you will not die. You're already thinking of death. Hold my hands. You will not die. She has diabetes. So her wounds don't heal. And this thing is already eating her legs. They're now tying it. Hold my hands. I curse that spirit. Right now. Be gone. Mommy, please don't cry. This is an elderly woman. Help her with it. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. I cost that devil. That pain, that abdominal pain, it leaves now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It leaves now. She's a worker in this house. And in the name of Jesus Christ, she's entitled to the blessings that follow kingdom service. Therefore, I set you free. And the Lord set your family free. Jesus Christ. Mama, please. Don't cry. This will dry up. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Please, if they pray for you, you can go. We don't have time to take testimonies. It's already morning. Hallelujah. We'll take any testimonies next week. Thank you, Jesus. Mommy, be healed in Jesus' name. Out! I am served. I am served. You believe in God. Spirit. What? Speechless spirit. They disturb him. Eh? Eh? What's he saying? I mean, my soul is here. The person. Eh? Speechless spirit. It's okay, daddy. Don't worry. Ooh. Jesus will solve it in Jesus' name. Whatever it is, Jesus is about to touch the whole family. My brother, what's the issue? Spiritual, spiritual things it's not spiritual. spiritual things yeah, but a spiritual things it, it's not like you are you see please let me explain something Jesus is not a magician you have to press into God no matter how much I pray for you now you see these spirits will leave but ultimately your passion and your desire for spiritual things are you following me now you must be ready to truly commit your all and walk with Jesus this is the ultimate remedy because you are a great man I pray for you. Huh? Please, when I make the altar call, please don't hesitate to come out. Lord Jesus, I cast that spirit right now. He'll be healed right now. Let him go. In the name of Jesus. Daddy, in the name of Jesus, the Lord touches you. Cast that spirit out. Not die out. That devil of stroke out. Are you seeing? Hold on, please. I seen paralysis. You see that this lady is already paralyzing from her face down because it's the devil of darkness. Let her go now. I curse you by the name of the God of heaven. You must let her go. Bless you, Steve. Sorry I keep interrupting. I just want to use this and explain certain things. My dear, this old twisting of your face will go down. 
This is a lovely lady. Praise God.
ushers begin to walk around and correct the prayer request please please this is a time to pass your prayer requests and for those online media people let's have it so that we can as soon as we're done we can pray on it hallelujah praise the lord
thank you. Lord, we thank you. Please, let's all rise on our feet. This is the last session. I love this part because this is where we get to invoke the presence of God. There is, no matter how many things we see, no matter how many people we minister to, this is a representation of the hunger and the desperation of almost everyone here. The Bible says, unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Hallelujah. I want you to know that the Lord God of heaven answers prayers in this place. This is not just some religious activity. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Pastor Ike, let me invite you to join me as we pray over this request. Now, I want you to stretch your hands. Those outside, stretch your hands towards the projector. And let's just pray in tongues for two to five minutes as we speak over this request. This represents the desire of God's people. Steve, you can join me too. Go ahead, stretch your hands as we pray. Go ahead, pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Rambo Kosuto Protokodobo Shubalada. seconds 60 more seconds to begin to declare war in the spirit lift up your voice and begin to declare 60 more seconds rato go bamba ni cabro do shande gele bala de gele bando lo fa ricati se gele bro do kamba bali gele bo kolo bra na gala bande ya tele bolo sana bala bande gele bro fa bali gala ba ma po tele bana gra bala de gole bo shande gala bande sa tele bo kamba na gala bro de gele bo sana ga ya tala bro lo bolo bo si tele gala ba you have 15 more seconds. Lift up your voice and declare it right now. Basso Pamala Bopa Baligere de Tanariaba, Mabro Copan de Legerebo San Legerba, Rapete Gerebo Pandigilibe, Dingelebo San Legerba, Rusiana Nambolo, Timbalegara Yanagaraba, Ochiana Malangala Malanagalo, Chetegaraba, Batolo Bokitabala de Gerebo, Basso Pike Pande Cande. You tire, tire, pose, Sanabayaba. You pose, Sanabalaba. 
I want you to declare it thunderous. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Only those are the overflow. I need to hear your voice. In Jesus' mighty name. Let all the people in the room lift up your voice and shout. In Jesus' mighty name. Let every nation, every tribe, every tongue give a thunderous amen. In Jesus' name. Wherever you are, make sure your two hands is connected to somebody. The Bible declares, Behold how beautiful, how pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity. The Bible declares, For there God commands His blessing when there is unity in the house. I need you to just squeeze our hands. Hold the hand by you. In that name that is above every other name. The name that makes demons tremble. The name that makes barren womb open. The name that makes blind eyes open. The name that makes the sick to be healed. In that name that guarantees an answer. We call on that name as a family. We call on that name as a body. We call on that name united this morning. We decree and declare every secret petition. We decree and declare every prayer request. We decree and declare every heart desire. We decree and declare by the unction and the authority vested on me by the man of God of this house. I decree and declare answers, 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 answers right now in Jesus' name. Oh my God, you are not saying amen. You are not echoing amen. Let the living shout amen. And so Lord, we give you thanks. We give you praise. We exalt your name. We lift you far above all else. For there is absolutely no God like you. We ask, oh God, that one more time prove yourself the God of the Apostle Selma the God of Isaac the God of Jacob and their father Abraham we decree and declare every secret petition is answered it's answered in Jesus mighty name and finally let every living soul shout the name of Jesus seven times to seal this great miracle can we go right now one two shout somebody shout somebody shout Somebody shout! Somebody shout! Somebody shout! When you want to shout the seventh time, I need you to jump on your feet and shout the name that's above all the names. Everybody shout! Jesus! 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 Jesus, 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 Hallelujah, Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. This is the best part of the meeting for me right now. What is about to happen. Because this is where many of you will see the creative power of prophecy. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded. Please, I'd like you to be sensitive. It's already 5.30. Can you imagine? Soon we'll be out of this place. But i like you to know that something is about to change in your life. Truly, truly, I believe that this is the greatest part of this meeting. Because when the word of God comes your way, it does something remarkable. Hallelujah. There's someone, we don't have time, you don't have to come out now. There's someone you've been trusting the Lord. And um, in fact, I'm seeing is a lady. And you're insisting that you must marry by December. And this is a very serious thing. You've, you've implicated yourself. You've said December. But the Lord is showing me April 2015. You are one of them. My dear, you. I'm seeing a lady. God is giving you a word. So don't kill yourself for nothing and say, I must marry. If you want to marry tomorrow, the devil will bring somebody for you. But you see, you have to be careful. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound. And bones began to be joined to bones. When Jesus appeared to me, one of the things that he did to me was to allow the light of his glory and his presence to enter into my being. And so every time I open my mouth to prophesy, that's all I see, that light. It's like a drug. It steps into your destiny and creates the Garden of Eden. Whatever it is, please, I'd like you to believe. Please. People have changed. The power of God is already moving. Help them, please. I know that we have abused prophecy. And in the country around, many people make so much boast about understanding the prophetic. But in reality, you see, um, the creative dimension of God's word is the strongest level of the operation of the word. The ability to make something out of nothing. Many of us just know the revelatory dimension. But if anything will ever happen in your life, it will take the power, the creative power. Hallelujah. So as I pray in this few minutes, I'd like you to shout amen from the depths of your heart. And I want you to receive. You can choose to argue it and go back the same. Especially for those of us who... Um, came from far and near. People traveled all the way. Some have been here all through the week. Please. Because you must return with a testimony. Savior, he can move a mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, he conquered the grave. Let's sing one more time. Savior, he can move a In the name that is above all names I prophesy to everyone who is trusting God for direction for the next level of his life be it marriage be it whatever you are at a crossroad and you need the voice of God may you hear the voice of the Lord in the name of Jesus 
I prophesy clarity in the name of Jesus. You don't have to bring them out. Just, just leave them. You don't have to bring them out again. We're out of time. I prophesy everyone who is already moving the wrong direction either as a result of wrong advices or wrong perceptions about the path of both spiritual and physical progress in the name of Jesus may the Lord redirect your steps now may the Lord redirect your steps now May the Lord redirect your steps now. Anyone about to leave the geography of your anointing as a result of wrong counsel or the quest for greener pastures. The Bible says there is a way that seemed right. You must be at the geography of your grace to thrive. And Isaac sowed not everywhere in that land. In the name that is above all names. May you hear the voice of his majesty. As you sleep tonight, may you hear the voice of his majesty. I pray for every born here who is experiencing stagnation. You are marking time and instead of you to make progress, you are not moving. By extension to every family. In the name that is above all names. The Lord told Moses, why are you crying to me? Tell the people to move forward. I prophesy over your destiny. Move forward now. Move forward now. Move forward now. Make progress now. Make progress now. I prophesy over those trusting God to settle down maritally. Every power of darkness tying down your marital destiny in the name of Jesus. That embargo is lifted now. By the blood of Jesus, that embargo is lifted now. Sisters, I open your marital doors now. In the name of Jesus. No more shall this proverb be used in your life. May the Lord change your story. Hallelujah. Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness and that oil sets you above your fellows in the name of Jesus. The anointing that distinguishes you from today everywhere you go be distinguished now help them please so that they don't preach. be distinguished now be distinguished now no more will you be common no more will you be like the rest the hand of God is upon you no more will you be common I prophesy from the depths of my heart let an anointing that distinguishes you rest upon you now All those trusting God for jobs. Let me, there's nothing as joblessness. The Bible says he saw them idle. And he said why standest ye idle? And they say no man employ us. He told them go to the vine. When God speaks there must be job. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Wherever your job is. I don't care what the limiting factors are. There is a superior advantage. Because you are in Christ. Therefore, I invoke man tato sotobala by the ministry of destiny help us. Wherever you need to be called, wherever your CV is, I provoke a miracle job now. Now. 
Now! 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 Hallelujah. I pray for everyone called barren in this place. Anyone called barren in this place. I declare to you according to the word of the Lord. That according to the time of life. May you return with your miracle child. May you return with your miracle child. I speak it. I establish it in the spirit. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18. It says, Son of man, what seest thou? And he said, Four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Israel, against Jerusalem, and against Judah. So that no man will lift up his head. He said, But I have sent carpenters in the name that is above all names the lord told me he will bring breakthrough i want to prophesy it now now whatever has limited you whatever has limited your family right now in the name that is above all names i come with the rod of a higher priesthood and i command every limitation be broken now limitations be broken now Limitations I sense the anointing of the Holy Ghost Limitations be broken now Be broken now Be broken now Let the power of God Break every limitation now Hallelujah He told Saul, he said, as you return, you will see three men holding bread, but two of them will give it to you. Does that mean they didn't want the bread for themselves? In the name that is above all names. The favor of God that can end the struggles in a man's life. Please believe the prayer I'm praying for you. Please believe it. It's not by power. There is a realm of ease that comes by the favor of God. Therefore, in the name that is above all names, I prophesy, receive favor. Favor. Let the Esther anointing come upon you now. Favor with men. Favor with God. Favor with kings. Favor with destiny help us in the name of Jesus. Every wine presser and baker that needs to speak to the king on your behalf in the name that is above all names, we provoke their ministry now. We provoke their ministry now. We provoke their ministry now. hallelujah whatever you have been trying to do and you don't you don't seem to make progress you keep going around cycles of the same thing in the name that is above all names everything you have tried and failed go and do it again this time with the anointing in the name of jesus everything you have tried to do and you failed i provoke an anointing upon your life and with this anointing go back and do it again he said master we have toiled all night but he said nevertheless at thy word i bring the word of the lord to your life now what did not work before let it begin to work now hallelujah I pray for every family going through pain and suffering and limitation and bondage. Every family represented here. He said, as for me and my house, 
not as for me alone as for me and my house hallelujah in the name of jesus may the fire of god may the fire of the holy ghost bring advancement in every family represented here i command every family make progress move forward make progress move forward move forward hallelujah i speak over everyone here and every family anyone marked for death anyone marked for death oh earth i speak hear the word of the lord we forbid the earth from taking the body of anyone here you remain immortal until your assignment is complete you do not live by the sword therefore you will not die by the sword in the name of jesus you are separated from the wickedness and the harassment of terrorism you are separated from the pestilence and the plagues that cause men to be afraid in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ and for many who are students here in the name of jesus every yoke of academic bondage in the name that is above all names i command be free from it now 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 therefore i release upon you the spirit of excellence receive the spirit of excellence on common speed academic exploits in the name of jesus hallelujah for every ministry every business everything that is dead and grounded in the name that is above all names like the dry bones in the valley of ezekiel i command life to it now i command life now i command life now in the name of the lord jesus christ i command life now hallelujah everyone in ministry in this place i pray for you let the doors of opportunity be open up to you you were not designed to market yourself the bible said let her walk speak for her at the gates i command everything stopping your walk from speaking for you let there be an anointing that announces you in the name of jesus christ every struggle in any area of ministry we call it to end now in the name of jesus and anyone who is in ministry and you are confused you really don't know where you stand you don't know the spiritual paradigm you should be representing in the name that is above all names let there be clarity absolute clarity in the name of jesus now lift up your hands i want to pray for your finances in the name that is above all names first and foremost i cause the spirit of greed that stops you from engaging the principles that will bring true wealth and abundance i command the giving grace to come upon you in the name of jesus i cause the spirit of greed let it be far from your life in the name of jesus grace for you to be a faithful tither grace for you to be a faithful giver grace for you to be a kingdom investor may god give you wisdom may god give you favor may god bless the works of your hands therefore i release a supernatural anointing for you to prosper receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus god gives you wisdom 
God gives you ideas in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Everyone here who is trusting God and is saying, Lord, restore. Everyone here who had a better yesterday that is saying, Lord, if there was a way I can turn the hands of time, I prophesy to you. There is a God that can turn the hands of time and cause men to experience restoration. Therefore, in the name that is above all names, we bring back into your life every opportunity that was once lost. In the name of Jesus, opportunity for favor, receive it. Opportunity for healthy connections. Every opportunity in your life that has been wasted by the favor and the mercy of God, we call back that opportunity to return in the name of Jesus Christ. We call it to return in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray finally, whatever has made you cry, in the name that is above all names whatever has brought tears out of your eyes because you were in a state where nothing and no one could help you in the name that is above all names may my god arise for you and that everyone who has laughed at you and said where is their god in the name that is above all names that god will arise for you my god will arise for you my God will arise for you. Now hold on. Before we round up, we're finishing by six. Six on the dot. I'll take five minutes and do something fast. And we're going to have hot praise for five minutes. We can't go without praise. You seal these things that God is doing with praise. Hallelujah. Now keep standing everybody. I want to make an altar call right now, please. Hallelujah. There are many people here inside and outside. You've heard the word of the Lord. You've experienced the power of God, the touch of God, the ministry of God's servants and God's vessels. But you have not made a decision for Jesus Christ. You may be a Christian, but you've not truly made a genuine decision for Jesus Christ. And then there are others. You once made a decision for Jesus Christ truly, but you found yourself derailing. Right now in the name of Jesus, I want to give you an opportunity. The Lord is asking you to return home. This is one of the greatest miracles. I know that there are many of us outside. Forget about your friends and whoever you came with. You're saying, Lord, I'm coming to commit myself genuinely. I'm inviting you right now as I count five. One, God bless you. God bless you. Appreciate them. Two, I know they are coming. God bless you. Please hurry up and come. It's a great thing. It's a great thing. Three, appreciate them. I believe there are so many other people that the Lord is speaking to. Don't be afraid. This is a family. Don't be ashamed. It's time to come to Jesus genuinely. Genuine repentance, not emotional hype. To make a decision that determines the next course of your life. Four, God bless them. You are still coming. I believe that the Holy Ghost is still speaking to some other people. Don't remain there. Five, I'll begin to pray now, but you can still come and join us. God bless you. The devil is a liar. No power will stop you. In case the Lord is still speaking to you, please find your way. Run to Jesus. It's the greatest decision you will ever make in your life. Hallelujah. Those of us here, thank you so much for coming. We salute your courage. I want to lead you to make the greatest prayer and decision in your life. After all is said and done in this life, this is all that will matter. The quality of the decision you have made today will determine your eternal destiny. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand and say after me, Lord Jesus. Please mean it from the depths of your heart. Don't recite it like a poem. Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I believe you died for me. You shed your blood for me. I receive eternal life into my spirit i declare today that i'm saved i'm a child of god 
My name is in the Lamb's book of life. I denounce sin and Satan. The power of sin is broken over my life. From today, I arise a champion. Holy Spirit, come and live in me. Make me an ambassador for the kingdom. In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for these ones. They have come before you. Spirit of the living God, I pray that you preserve them. Let their decisions be genuine. Grace for them to stand in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please arise. God bless you. Thank you for this great decision. I'd like you to follow the gentleman waving his hands. Just follow the gentleman waving his hands. Appreciate them, Koinonia. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Now, let me just perform two quick functions. Pastor Ike came with his CDs. How many of you were blessed by the ministry of Pastor Ike? Come on, celebrate grace. Koinonia, you know better than this. Celebrate grace. Hallelujah. He's here with his CDs. He brought as much as one, two, three, four, five, five complimentary copies for me. Please help me tell him thank you. Hallelujah. They are available. I believe that um, there are some with Jordan Bookstore. And I believe that it's possible to get probably a few limited copies. Very powerful. Really very powerful. And um, let me use the opportunity to just introduce to us one more time. Aaron Dandodo and Susan Legbo, where are you? They are getting married on the 18th. Aaron, quickly. Susan. Let this be the way they clap for you during your wedding. You will reap what you sow. Where is she? You are not doing again. Hallelujah. There are wonderful, faithful people in this house. Aaron has been with us for years. And Susan is a member of the prayer band. Praise the Lord. And um, we thank God for what God is doing. Stretch your hands and pray for them. Their wedding is on the 18th. They will be tying the knot in Mina. Pray for them. Say, Lord, every resource required is provided. And many of you, God may lead you to sow seeds into their lives. Go ahead. Go ahead. So connect with what God is doing. Connect with what God is doing. Lord, we ask that you bless them. Bless Aaron. Bless Susan. We bless your wedding. Most importantly, we bless your marriage. May you experience the hand of God in your home. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. Please celebrate them one more time. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This morning, Pastor Yinka will be... Um, will be called the husband proper. <laughs> Hallelujah. We give God all the praise. A few people left the day before yesterday to grace the wedding. Um, the wedding of Aaron and Susan will be at UMCA Church behind Mr. Biggs Tonga at Mina State. Reception is at Honorable Justice Idris Legbo Hall near the government house at Mina Niger State. As many of us, Aaron has been a blessing to the body of Christ. Please let's invest our resources and then our presence. Um, this is from the prayer department. There will be massive Holy Ghost baptism on Tuesday. For those of us who have been trusting God, please, if you are here, paradventure, you are new, and you've not been filled with the Holy Ghost with evidence of praying in fluent tongues, fluent tongues, not just talking anyhow. You need to receive a real baptism genuinely. Join the prayer band Tuesday, the 30th, of September at Rema Chapel time is 4 p.m. Please invite your friends and loved ones. Project 10,000 is still on. Please be part of it and the Lord will help you. Praise the Lord. You can book for counseling immediately after the service. Uh, the protocol department will be waiting here. Please, if you are coming for counseling from another state, would advise that you come at least on Sunday. Praise God. Or at least Monday, leave early in the morning so that... Um, you can come and be settled. Praise the Lord. The booking ends tomorrow by 6 p.m. This free bus transport is limited immediately after the service. 
For those going to Shikan Congo, please wait at the projector stand outside. Take note of our official lines, both um, um, the protocol and the media lines. Please take advantage of them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I also want to announce that the general workers retreat has been shifted. Please, all workers, because of the um, nature of the weekend, please and please, we have decided to shift it so that everyone can rest. Hallelujah. The various heads of department will communicate this accordingly. Okay. The audition for the worship team will be on the 1st of October. Hallelujah. So all applicants, please make sure you, you mark that date and prepare. You can meet your head of department immediately after the service for more information. Hallelujah. School of Ministry students, we are not having lectures today again. Please, our lectures will be tomorrow since there's no retreat again. Praise the Lord. Tomorrow, 2 p.m. prompt. 2 p.m. prompt. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please announce it to those who are coming in from Kaduna if they are not around so that they don't bother taking um, the pain to come and then not. We just want everybody to rest. So everyone you can use today and rest. There are other meetings. CGC is having its uh, convention. And then there is a program that is happening in, I think, God Life today. Um, Aaron and... Um, one of the business experts, they are putting on a program. So there are many things happening at the same time. It's quite a busy weekend. And for many of us who have been preparing for this meeting, so please afterwards, take out time and rest. Those who have been fasting, it's time to eat. Praise the Lord, so that you don't die in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me take this time to appreciate the Orions. Please, I'd like you to celebrate them. Please, Koinonia, celebrate them. It's an investment of honor. Hallelujah. I want us to celebrate the redeemed dancers. Wonderful. It was so, so lovely. Hallelujah. I'd like us to celebrate the man of God, Steve Strings. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Steve. We love you. Love you. We truly honor you. I'd like us to celebrate the dear woman of God. Goodness, I was blown away. Please. Rosemary, please celebrate her. Thank you. Thank you so much. May the Lord honor you. Thank you for coming all the way. And I'd like us to celebrate Pastor Ike and his wonderful wife. I think she should stand here and let's see her. Pastor, you spoke so much about her. Please, ma. You know she's not. Come on now. Pastor, do it for us. Those of you who plan to be bad husbands, that's going to be the last prophecy before we leave. May God change your mindset in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Please celebrate them. May your home be like this. Every Tom and Jerry marriage, I curse it in Jesus' name. Bless you, man. Thank you so much for coming. Hallelujah. And then I'd like us to celebrate every department in this house. Wonderful people. Wonderful people. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate our online community. There are more people following online than you can imagine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet. All those worshiping with us for the first time, as we round up, please, I'd like you to come out. We have a prayer and a blessing for you. Make your way to the front, inside and outside. Make your way to the front right now. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Please come, those who are worshiping with us for the first time. This is your first time here, aside from our invited guests. You're welcome. Don't let anyone sit down around you who is coming here for the first time. We have a prayer and a blessing for you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Pastor. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. This is Koinonia. Hallelujah. A meeting put together by Eternity Network International. Your life will never be the same. Thank you for the investment of your time. This is our vigil and we bless God for your presence. I guarantee you that you will return with such a hunger for spiritual things. May the Lord honor you in Jesus name. Father, we bless them in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will meet your expectations beyond your imagination. You are blessed. As you return, you return with the presence of God. 
you return with the anointing of the Holy Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please, I'd like you to just follow the gentleman waving his hands. He will have your information and he will welcome you more warmly on our behalf in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let's share the grace. After that, we're going to have five minutes of hot praise. Hallelujah. Pastor Ike will round up this meeting with hot praise. Hallelujah. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. I'll be here very briefly to say hi to as many people. God bless you. Pastor Sir. Hey, my God, you good yo. 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 Somebody worship, somebody pray. 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 To say, yeah, I will lift him higher. Yeah, I will lift him higher. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise, I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin.